Hello Mouseketeers, it's Kate from Princess Mini here. Welcome back to my 13 days of Halloween. I'm so excited to see you again. Let's get right into today's video. I have three pin boxes today for us. Um, these are box lunch um, exclusive pins and they are from the Nightmare Before Christmas. They are super cool because they form a puzzle. I am loving that. Now I have six of these total. I'm going to do three in today's video, three in another video. And you might be like, Kate, hey, then no matter what, you can't complete it. I kind of figured, let's see how these go. <laughs> and then I actually might be grabbing some more of these before the end of the 13 days of Halloween. Maybe we can even complete this whole puzzle by then. But let's see how, how tonight goes first. <laughs> so they're all awesome. I can't wait to see what we get. But then I also have two, and I will have more coming. But I don't, I don't want to just like open a billion in, in a single video. Um, I feel like I want to appreciate as we build this collection. So this is the Boo Hollow Collection. And these are Paka Paka. And Paka Paka are these little Funko vinyl figures. And they're just so weird. They're not like Disney licensed or anything like that. These are Halloween characters or Halloween themed characters. Like there's a witch, there's a trick or treater, a werewolf. There's a spooky tree that I kind of really want. There's some really fun ones here. And I think when we open this up, maybe there will be like a whole list of the ones you can get. I'm hoping so, so we can see those. Um, and I know my friend Katie at the channel Over the Mooney is also going to be opening these. So check her channel out if you wind up liking these. Definitely let me know what you think, because I think opening Paka Paka seems really fun. These are my first ones, so it might start something a little bit new on the channel, but I always like to bring it back to the pins also, because really that's where my heart is. In fact, let's start with a pin right now. So these boxes are $10, but usually with box lunch, it's like buy two things under $10, get the third one free um, if you're in the store or on the website, they usually have them on sale for more like $7. So it really works out <laughs> the same. And I'm just realizing I didn't show you guys the options. So I'll do that first. <laughs> But so they, they are pretty expensive. Um, hopefully this will feel worth it. Hopefully it will be a decent size. It's feeling a little small, honestly. It's also feeling maybe like a corner piece. So keep that in mind when I show you the options. <laughs> but I do think this looks incredible. So I'm excited to hopefully, fingers crossed one day, see it all together. And since I'm already up here at the camera, of course I want every piece. I felt like this was a corner piece, and if so, let's hope for Zero. He's definitely one of my favorite characters from Nightmare. Oh, okay, we have two of the um, trick-or-treaters, and in this case we have Shock the Witch and Lock the Devil. Shock is my favorite of the three kids, so that's cool. And I think my husband's favorite character is Lock um, in terms of those three kids. So this is perfect. I love starting out with the corner piece, and maybe we'll get lucky and all the pieces we get today will connect. I like the art style on this. I think it's, you know, just different enough, but recognizable at the same time. I like to go back and forth between different products in my videos, different pin boxes, or in this case, a figurine and a pin, um, just because I like that variety. I'm like, I'm a buffet person. I really like buffets because I like, like I'll do like a whole plate of regular food and then a plate of dessert and then go back from regular food. I don't know if you feel me on that, but um, that's, that's what I like because I like lots of different tastes. So the closest I can get to that in a video is doing like pin figurine, pin figurine or something like that. So again, Boo Hollow Paka Paka, my first ever Paka Paka. It's reminding me of like a giant Easter egg, which is really fun. Yay! Oh, oh, I totally would have wanted this one. It's a trick-or-treater just like the pin that we got. I am loving that. Okay, this is a great theme. Trick-or-treat. Yes, I'm here for that. So he's super cute. He's dressed up like a skeleton. He kind of looks like he's a candy corn who's dressed up like a skeleton. He even has his treat bag that has a pumpkin face on it. The theming of this is absolutely darling and I'm going to be a skeleton for Halloween this year. Even if I just sit in my house the whole time, I already bought my costume and I'm going to be a skeleton. So 
perfectly on brand. <laughs> And yes, this is series one. It actually does give us information about the ones that you can get. So I will show you that. I will let you know his name is Gabe. Okay. It says Gabe likes tricks and treats equally. I feel like we're reading Gabe's internet dating profile. Candy is the best, but the tricks are a lot more fun. Oh my God. These are phenomenal. Oh, and it gives you their rarity. So he... <laughs> On. He's a super common. He's not just common. He's a super common. Uh, so he is one in nine. All right, so looking at this sheet for later on, it does look like there are two hyper rares, but they are just fancier versions of two of the commons. So I kind of like that. So as long as I get even just the common version, I'd be very happy. Um, and actually, oh, the chases. I really wanted the trees. I don't know why. Why do I want two like just regular trees? But I do. Um, I love zombies and there's a zombie option. There's a werewolf option. I could probably live without the devil option. The witch is okay. Um, but that there's a cauldron. I think I'd really like the cauldron. Why do I want the cauldron and not the witch? Can anybody figure out my reasoning and my logic? Because it's, I don't know. It's not here. Like, I don't, I don't know what it is. Okay, next pin. So if we wanted to connect to shock and lock, then we would either need barrel, which makes sense. He's looking super crazy. Or we would need the one that I mentioned earlier that I would want, zero. All right, come on you. It's trying to give me a hard time. It's tricking me already. Trick or treat, trick or treat, trick or treat. Uh, the only trick would really be getting a double so far. Not a double! Not one of the ones I mentioned, but definitively not a double. It's actually the exact opposite end of the puzzle. And it is the top right corner. We got the bottom left corner before. It's the mayor and he's uh, the happy version of the mayor. Now, we in my household actually prefer the sad panicky version of the mayor, but I will take him however I can get him. Final Paka Paka of the video. Uh, let's go tree, let's go tree, which is not something I ever thought I would chant, especially on camera. Aw, oh, nuts. <laughs> it's another game, he's back. <laughs> well, it said he likes tricks and treats equally. So I guess he got me. The first time he was a treat, now he's a trick. So you got me, Gabe. But um, I know, like I said, Katie's gonna be opening these. So what if she gets the other comment? Maybe we can switch. Or I do have other people in my life who like Paka Paka. Um, and I'm also a teacher, so potentially this could be a gift for a kiddo. That would be a little more realistic for this Halloween season if we were not um, doing virtual learning, but it could always be next year final pin or any product in this video. We got the two of the corners, so it'd be kind of cool if we got another corner who would be Sally or Zero. But then we still have to get Jack, Oogie, Barrel, and Scary Teddy, who I think is a great, great, cute little like icon from the movie, but also gets like a ton of love considering how teeny tiny, like a, like a teeny tiny amount of screen time he really has. Okay. Here we go. Final pin today. I think I'm gonna have to definitely get some more of these also, guys, definitely. It's a video full of treats, except for the second game. It is another corner piece, so I'm loving that. So I'm the person with puzzles. I do all the edges first. Now, of course, this doesn't have an, like, an inner layer. They're all, <laughs> like, end pieces at least but um or like they have the flat sides but another corner i'll take it and it's sally and she's very much creeping up on jack she looks absolutely darling and there's a hint of a little jack-o-lantern underneath her so that's a great detail this series is very cute i only my only like wish i guess is i wish these were slightly larger but the quality of them more than makes up for the size
you can kind of get a sense of the general size of the puzzle with from these pieces. They're definitely not going to fit super seamlessly together, but it's not bad how they're fitting together. Um, so that's really nice. So sometimes with the puzzle pieces, it can be a challenge to kind of get them to line up correctly, but I barely fiddled with this and it was still pretty easy. So the quality of these are really nice. The artwork is cool. It will be small. I think that's that's pretty small, but you know what? Not everybody has tons of space on pin boards. I certainly don't. <laughs> um, I just have a lot of pin boards, so it would be actually great filler. Also, I mean, they could just be cute randomly on a pin board if you didn't even want to complete it as a set, but maybe you just liked Sally and Oogie, or you just like the mayor and have a small side collection. So they're just darling pins with great quality. So nice to see that from Box Lunch. All right, guys, today was full of treats. I thought this was an awesome luck video. I'm super excited. I'm really hoping we can finish this puzzle together during the 13 days of Halloween. We're well on our way towards Halloween. So definitely let me know what you think in the comments down below and I'll see you real soon.